You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. For your own good, I recommend you speak to Administrator Adari, quickly finish your business in Kunda, and go. I will answer your questions. She was the Agricultural Administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attacked, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here would be mercenaries. I see you have found the elusive Master Rook. He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. I thank you for finding him, though. Rook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. Zeron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Right now, just us and the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make sure that all civilians are warned in time, so they can get to safety. Though if we lose this battle, nowhere on Dantooine will be safe for settlers for long. Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. I have instructed the militia and other Kunda personnel that you are to be provided with anything that can be spared. Unfortunately, that isn't much. Here is a MasterCard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Zeron. Zeron was right about the mercenaries all along. I guess my ego clouded my judgment as to what's best for Kunda.
Thanks, stranger. I should be back to duty in no time. Thanks, stranger. I should be back to duty in no time. Thanks, stranger. Thanks, stranger. Charanana Gundoso, Remina, que lo racto curo catada. Charanana Gundoso, Remina, que lo racto curo catada. Fiebre toro, pada no, ringa tal camarada, tela fibo nubo de picarana, chenirara. Tereguana jun conata de la raguna tuna. Dai rinto ron cabre cabre papanala ranchinga. Terace, o minuto tore, senesenten. Dari ini turun tu wak beri kue wap jerebu. Nenso telepacan kau saudara nane gerai gerai ada lunu tak cawloren. Teri wana jun konata dela raguna tuna. Dari ini turun kau beri kere papa nala rancinga. Tera cia we minu tu tore res senesenten. Dari ini turun tu wak beri kue wap jerebu. Nenso telepacan kau saudara nane gerai gerai ada lunu tak cawloren. Teri wana jun konata dela raguna tuna. Dari ini turun kau beri kere papa nala rancinga. Tera cia we minu tu tore res senesenten. Dari ini turun tu wak beri kue wap jerebu. Nenso telepacan kau saudara nane gerai gerai ada lunu tak cawloren. Such acts have their own strength about them. I had forgotten.
Principles of sacrifice and charity. These are things I have not seen in some time. I'm afraid that it will weaken you for what comes. But I have said enough, and you do not need my counsel. Your actions should, as always, be your own. My life is yours. I hear you. I'll just leave this right here. I'll just leave this right here. The honor is Just mine. say the word. things that could use fixing. It isn't glamorous, but that type of work sometimes makes a load of difference. Just look around. Plenty to be done. Off the top of my head, the three turrets outside Kunda are on the blink. They went haywire the other day and wounded some of my men, so we took them offline. The men who were wounded by the turrets are holed up in the med lab, but our medic droid is busted, so they're healing slowly. I've had some men lay traps around Kunda, but nobody here really specializes in demolitions. I'm sure there's some gaps that could be filled. The side security door to Kunda has been malfunctioning as long as I've been here. It may be best to just seal it off lockdown so nobody gets through. We got some broken assault droids that have been collecting dust for the last five years. If they were working, it would help a lot with interior defense. If I had it my way, I'd recruit any citizen of Kunda that can hold a blaster. But it's hard to convince peaceful farmers to fight, maybe die for a cause. When you're ready, come back and we can talk about the final plans to defend Kunda. A lot of people here hate Jedi, but when they were here, they tried helping us. I don't blame them. Welcome back to Kun. Are you waiting for the administrator too? You won't have to wait too long. But if you want results, now that you may never get here. Kun is like a droid without his power cell. Useless. We have problems all over, and the most you can get out of the administrator is a pat in the back. I'm sick of all their excuses and empty words. I need justice now. I fought in the war, and I know how to use my blaster rifle. If the administrator or Zeron doesn't do something, then I will. Salvagers are the problem. They strip bare the ruins that belong to the people of Dantooine. Then, they sell what they find back to us at inflated prices. I'm not a violent man. I've had my share of it in the war. I sincerely hoped I could just hang my blaster rifle on the wall as a souvenir for my grandchildren. 
But I can't farm without my equipment. Well, yes and no. I brought my moisture vaporator to Kunda to be serviced. On the way back to my farm, I took a shortcut next to the Enclave ruins. Damn Lagrix came out of nowhere. I had to run before they made a meal of me. When I returned to retrieve my equipment, the salvagers had already stripped it bare. I went to their camp to get back my moisture evaporator. This smug fellow Joran told me that he found it within the ruins, and by law, it belongs to him now. He said he'd give it to me for the bargain price of 500 credits. I wasn't very happy about it, but the law was on his side. So I paid this scoundrel. Now the moisture evaporator doesn't work because it is mysteriously missing its modulator. Joran is offering to sell me a modulator he found for another 500 credits. I suppose you could. Actually, you almost look like a salvager. If you could go to the salvager camp and convince the salvager Joran to return my modulator, I would be very grateful. I'm not rich, but I have some souvenirs from the war I could give you. That's great. I'm certainly not getting any help around here. If you need to know anything more, just ask me. Any luck? On Kunda has never done anything to help me. If I ever did return to soldiering, I'd want to do it for something I believed in. Nah, I'm not interested. A lot of people here hate Jedi. When they were here, they tried helping us. I was right about you. The mercenaries aren't quick to... You sure? Once we're done with that, there may not be any time left before the mercenaries attack. All right. Then we got a lot to do. Since you are here to bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. I imagine that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. The administrator's locked up in her office tight, which means that the mercs have to go through us and Kunda's defenses. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's about it. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the mercs to come. Well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for words. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. and me. I think it'll really help. Let's get ready for the mercenaries. If we fall here, all of Dan Twin falls with us.
So you're the Jedi. I take it you are responsible for the surprises we've had during this battle. Stand aside. Our quarrel is with a distinguished administrator. This isn't your problem. Is that supposed to convince me, Jedi? I was trained by the Sith. My unit killed many Jedi. I'll give you one last chance. Leave the administrator to her fate. She's inconvenient, and doesn't know the chain of command. She will pay for that. You have no idea who you're talking to. I was going to spare your worthless life. I see I was in error. I was trained at Malak's Academy. Your tricks won't work on me. You're just another dead Jedi to me. Sorry I was held up, but it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Kill them all. You can be sure that Dantooine will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this place. I'm sorry to offend you. You are, of course, our savior, and I am very grateful to you. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. I am humbled by your generosity. I will put this to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Don Duin will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. Kunda is safe in no small part due to you. I feel certain that the Administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. I may have misjudged you. In any case, I am free to talk about whatever you wish. There are a few of us left, but I do not even know if the others still live. We may be the last. We have been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. We have chosen to hide our presences from each other so that the discovery of one will not endanger the others. We cannot, and we have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even as our numbers thin, there is still no trace of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver them. By letting them believe themselves victorious, we thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far, they remain in hiding, and Jedi continue to vanish and die. You have more questions for me? We are at war, but it is unlike any war we have fought before. We have yet to even meet our attackers in battle. Somehow, our enemy is targeting us through the Force, striking, then retreating to the shadows. The gathering of any Jedi seems to attract them like a beacon. 
so it was necessary to divide our forces and conceal ourselves for a time until we could learn more of this threat. Yes, the Meraluka world of Qatar taught us that. Many Jedi gathered there in an attempt to use the Force to find the location of the enemy. Now the planet is no more. Master Zar, Master Dorak, and many more perished there, and we do not know why or how. But all life on the planet ceased to exist. I was not on Qatar when it was destroyed, but now that it is dead, it has left its echo, like Dantooine. It was after Qatar that the few of us left realized that wherever we gathered, we were placing others in danger, not just Jedi. Great tragedies, old battlegrounds, places of suffering all leave wounds on the galaxy and in the Force. In such places, the deaths of so many echo, so much so that it is difficult to center oneself. By coming here, those echoes serve to mask my presence, allowing me to investigate the ruins and try to find some clues as to who our attackers are. The Miraluka world of Qatar taught us a terrible lesson. Many Jedi gathered there in an attempt... Now the planet is no more. I was not on Qatar. It was after Qatar... You have more questions? We were not in hiding, despite what you believe. This threat is striking through the Force. There's a reason that we cannot detect it. It is somehow masking its presence from us. I do not know. There are techniques in the Force that hide one's presence and thoughts from other Force users. But I do not believe that such techniques alone would be capable of hiding the enemies we face. It does not seem possible. Jedi sanctuaries, places of learning, conclaves, many of them secret, have been attacked. That requires that our enemy knew of our whereabouts, or had access to records and holocrons from the Enclave here on Dantooine. There was much Jedi teaching buried here before the planet was attacked. In the hands of our enemies, such knowledge could be used to track and kill Jedi, find other Enclaves, gathering places. And so much has been plundered from here that now many secrets of the Jedi have been spread throughout the galaxy. So I did what I could, attempting to let myself be captured. I hoped that it would lead me to the Sith and the stolen artifacts. The Sith attacked this place once, and only they would seek the death of the Jedi with such obsession, and be able to be as successful as they have. But the destruction of Dantooine... It is difficult to sense the presence of any Force users here. If any Sith are here, I cannot detect them. Yes, perhaps I wish to see this place one more time. It has changed much, as I knew it had, but I had to see it for myself. You have more questions for me? Because you defied the Council and followed Revan to war. And from that war came another. Do you know how many worlds were destroyed in those wars? Dantooine, Telos, Sirocco? Do you see now why we counseled caution instead of action? You were the only one to come back and face judgment. But that was because you had lost your connection to the Force. Another casualty of war. No doubt you still blame us for your exile. I had hoped your isolation would give you time to reflect on what had happened, what you had done. But I see it as not. You have more questions for me? We did nothing to you. Accuse us if you will, but it will not change the truth. Cutting one off from the Force. Such punishments are reserved for only a few. Although it was within our power, we did not inflict such a loss upon you. Your loss was a casualty of war. No more. 
Perhaps that is a question you should ask yourself. It is not something I could help you with, even if I wanted to. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. You have more questions for me? Force bonds? Yes. It is the bond that grows between master and student. Are you saying you have bonded with another? Such bonds normally grant strength to both, but not to such a degree. Are you certain? Perhaps it is merely what you believe. Still, your ability to form such connections, to influence others, was always a subject of discussion, even when you were a student here. Perhaps it is a punishment of a sort. But a bond that ties two lives together, such bonds do not seem natural to me. And with your loss of connection to the Force, it seems such a connection would be impossible. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not... Still, you and... It is possible to return... You have more questions for me? Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. Why would they attack you? There are no Jedi. You cannot feel the Force. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dentween. And from there we may decide what can be done. You have more questions for me? I suppose there is something I should show you. that will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. I'm only going to demonstrate this once. This is the Sheen form, a defensive stance that's good when you're outnumbered, which is most of the time. This form will increase your ability to deflect blaster fire, and it increases the odds of dealing critical strikes against your attackers. <laughs> I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine.
Is there? Must be hearing things, but for a moment. How many more do we intend to gather to us? This ship is not the galaxy. There is only so much room. Then prepare for an army, I think, for it seems many more will come in time. They will follow you because you are a leader. Their kind always needs such, even when the figure deserves no such obedience. No? Perhaps not. Or perhaps you are different, something more. I am not blind. I see what they see, hear their voices when they speak to you, and notice the change when they speak to others. I know many things, and I know what I am not. I am no leader. I speak with a voice that will never move others. I speak with a passion that goes unheard. They obey you because you are a leader, and perhaps something more. Have you noticed what has been happening? Have you felt it in them? They echo you, either fighting or surrendering to their feelings, their loyalty, their duty. Your mere presence serves as an example to them of something to uphold or something to fight against. Watch them carefully, see their patterns, and recognize the strength in it. Influence can be a weapon, one that you may need before your journey is done. I care not which of the words you use, as long as you make use of that which you forge. That was Revan's way, I believe. It was a strength. A discussion, perhaps, for another time. Ask, and I... That crystal is bonded to you. Let me focus on the crystal for a moment. There, now it is fully in tune with you again. Is there something else you wished? Ignorance, and perhaps they do not remember or care. It is of no consequence to me or to them. Am I? Then perhaps you should know. There are techniques in the Force where one can cloud the memory of others, make their presence so small as to be unnoticed. And on the worlds where we have encountered these Jedi, there is much life and death where sensing such things is difficult. As I said, it is of no consequence to me, or to them. No, but if I did, you would never know, so my words only carry as much worth as you believe them to. But perhaps you will understand this, that perhaps it is important to me that you see me and my actions uncloaked. It is important that your judgments, whether be good or bad, stem from seeing me as I truly am. I did not ask you to trust me, only that you listen to what I have to tell you, but thank you.